hizo hivi sasa mtazamaji moja kwa moja acha tuanze na kampeni zinazoendelea hivi sasa katika kaunti ya Kericho sehemu ya Moise Garden sehemu ya Kericho ile ambako wananasa asubuhi mpaka saa hizi wamekuwa katika kaunti hiyo wakitandaza sera zao alafu baadaye tuangazie pia kinachoendelea katika kaunti nyingine kuhusiana na kampeni za chama cha jubili. Bora kabisa Jamaa 
kawili mmoja nataka nijue nani ataelewa haya mjana wewe mjana wewe sasa kama anasema ni mwenye kitanda wili lakini kitanda wili ni kaja baba zina namna hiyo kitanda wili kitanda wili rangi ya basi nyekundu Reba ni mlevi, conductor ni mwizi. Yule nani? Yule nani? Yule nani? Sasa Wani Jo wewe. Nani? Jo. Jo. Stella. Jo. Na mtazamaji huo ndio mkutano unaoendelea hivi sasa katika sehemu ya Moi Garden eneo la kaunti ya Kericho kule tutaendelea pia kutafuta wanajubili wako sehemu gani huko kaunti ya Bomet pia vile vile tuweze kuelezea kile ambacho kinachoendelea kwenye kampeni zao hata hivyo tukiendelea na taarifa zaidi hapa studio mama mmoja amenaswa na polisi huko Ahero kaunti ya Kisumu wakimshuku kubeba bangi kiasi ambacho thamani yake haijulikani Rashi Ronald aliweza kututumia taarifa ifuatayo. Wanasema siku za mwizi ni arobaini. Leo ilikuwa siku ya arobaini kwa mshukiwa huyu. Mama wa makamu alikuwa anasafirisha bangi kutoka Megori kuelekea mahali ambapo hadi sasa ni fumbo tu. Lakini alipofika katika eneo la Riat kwenye kaunti ya Kisumu alishuka kutoka kwa matatu alimokuemo akiwa na mizigo hii iliyojaa kileo hiki hatari. Today at around 9:30 a.m., we received an information from members of the public that a lady had just alighted at a place called Riat with some luggages. Uh, with some luggages, so we rushed there, and uh, we recovered about uh, three bags, about four bags, and one carton. When and, and one woman, and when we asked her where she was coming from and where she was destined, uh, she told us she was coming from Migori. We even received a receipt. She boarded a, a motor vehicle to, from a known destination to, to, on 2nd of July. Eneo la Migori limekuwa sugu katika biashara hii. Ukubangi hiyo ikitoka katika inchi jirani ya Tanzania na kusafirisho hadi Nairobi. Na wakati mungine Mombasa, Rashid Ronald, KTN News katika kaunti ya Kisumu. Madaktari wametia saini makubaliano au CBA na serikali za kaunti. Kinachosalia sasa ni pande hizo mbili kufika katika mahakama ya wafanyikazi ili kualalisha makubaliano yao. Wiki iliyopita serikali kuu kupitia kwa waziri wa afya Cleopamailu alitia kidole kwenye makubaliano hayo. Madaktari wametoa changamoto kwa serikali kuu kufanikisha masuala ambayo yaliyosalia kama vile kutoa mgao wa fedha kwa serikali za kaunti kwa wakati ufao. Magavana pia wamewataka madaktari kuwasaidia kwenye mazungumzo na wauguzi kusitisha mgomo wakisema sasa madaktari wana uzoefu wa kutosha kutekeleza shughuli hiyo. Of new commitments of new partnerships to strengthen the health sector and to reform the health sector 
in a way that it responds to everyone that is a stakeholder in it. That's not the end. Because you can sign a document and then you place somewhere in a cupboard. Let it be effective. Let the two documents be effective. We do want to trust that we can put you on board to help us negotiate with the nurses because you understand them. You work with them every day and I am sure you understand them better than we, we do. I thought I did understand them, but it's, it, it seems to me that the union leadership will understand you better than they would understand me. The amount of money under discussion was meant to pay your allowances, the doctors, the clinical officers, the nurses, allowances that were awarded by government way back in December. In fact, for the new allowances, it's still going to be a challenge, but they let them come back, we negotiate, and then we look for the money to be able to pay them out. So it is our sincere hope, and I hope that uh, the doctors who have gone through as a rigorous process in, in getting to this agreement she will be able to talk to their colleagues in those unions to see sense that we need to discuss and we need to move forward as we look for solutions. Because I know the country is now looking for a solution on who will offer the best solution for the public servants of this country. So I hope they will come onto the table. We be able to agree within the framework that has been set by SRC and be able to move forward. Viongozi katika kaunti ya Pokot ya Magharibi wametoa wito kwa Inspector General wa Polisi Joseph Boynet kuzidisha ulinzi kwa wawaniaji wa nadhifa za kisiasa sehemu hiyo. Kiongozwa na Seneta John Lonyangapuo, viongozi hao wamesema tayari pameanza ongezeko la uhasama miongoni mwa wawaniaji mbalimbali hivyo kutishia usalama wao. Naye mkewe naibu wa Rais Rachel Ruto amewarai wa Kenya kuzingatia amani na usalama taifa linapojiandaa kwa ajili ya uchaguzi ni taarifa za mseto wa siasa na Shadrack Miti ambayo wameketi zikiwa zimesalia siku 32 kabla ya Kenya kwenda uchaguzi mkuu wanasiasa wameongeza kasi ya kampeni zao katika pembe zote za nchi jumbe za amani utangamano na siasa za kuvumiliana zikiwasilishwa katika kaunti ya Embu mkeo naibu wa rais William Ruto aliendeleza injili ya siasa bila ya chuki na matusi kwa manufaa ya udhabiti wa nchi hata baada ya uchaguzi mkuu tukikuwa na mambo ambayo itatuharibu kama wa Kenya destiny ya nchi yetu itaharibika destiny ya nchi yetu itakuwa delayed itakuwa aborted it will be diverted tunasemanga twendane mono tupendane sana na tukipendana ndio Mungu anatupenda zaidi. Nao viongozi na ugombeaji wa viti mbalimbali katika kaunti ya Pokot Magharibi wameomba serikali kuimarisha ulinzi wao wakati huo kampeni zinapoingia mkondo wa lala salama. Wakati huu wa campaigns tighten security kila kona ya nchi kila maisha wao wanasimama na wenye wako na mkosi na mkasa ya kusumbua watu waweze ku kuitwa wa report na waseme mbona wana wanaendelea na fujo sana na katika kaunti ya Tana River mbunge wa Bora Ali Wario ametoa wito kwa wanasiasa kuendesha kampeni za amani na uvumiliano ninaomba wanasiasa sauti zao wateremshe chini haswa hii wakati ya kampeni mazungumzo yetu kama viongozi na wanasiasa isilete fitina na uhasama baina ya wananchi wanayoishi pamoja. Amani. Salama. Amani. Wito sawa na huo umetolewa katika kaunti ya Taita Taveta. Wazee wa jamii mbalimbali zinazoishi katika kaunti hiyo waliandaa msafara katika eneo la Mwatate kabla ya kusanyika kwa mkutano wa pamoja. Waliporaya waniaji wa nyathi mbalimbali katika kaunti hiyo kuvumiliana na kuheshimiana katika kampeni zao. Ukiangalia sana hawa ni watu wale wamesoma law wengine wamesoma engineering wengine wamesoma hii lakini kusomeshwa kwa character hakuna hatupigani tukiwa wazee hatupigani na serikali hatupigani na jamii ingine tunatumia nini ulimi wetu na ukisikia wazee wameanza kutu, uh, kutupania maneno vijana watatupania nini 
Wazee hao aidha uliohusisha viongozi wa dini katika juhudi zao. Shadrack Miti, KTN News. Jamii ya Wasomali wanaoishi na kufanya biashara zao kaskazini mwa Pwani wameamua kumuunga mkono gavana wa kaunti ya Kilifi Amazon King wakisema kwamba amezisaidia jamii se katika sehemu hizo zikiwemo kukwamua mizozo ya ardhi za kuvulisha mifugo wao. Wakizungumza baada ya kukutana huko Kilifi mapema leo asubuhi, jamii hiyo imeongezea kusema kwamba watahakikisha wanaowashinikiza wengine kumpigia kura Gavana Kingi. Kwa upande wake Gavana Kingi amesikitishwa na mateso yanayopitia jamii hiyo akina kilitukio la mauaji ya kiolela watu watano ambao miili yao ilipatikana katika kaburi la halaiki mapema wiki hii huko akiwalaumu baadhi ya maafisa wa serikali kwa kushindwa kuzuia hali hiyo. Gavana Kingi amewahakishia na kujali na hata vile vile kulinda maslahi ya kila mkazi anayehudumu katika kaunti ya Kilifi. Yeye mliona jana na juzi kwa Runinga kwa TV. Vile ndugu zetu walipigwa marisasi ka ka wanyama pori. Ile ilikuwa kaunti gani Mandera ama Mandera. Yes. Mimi niangalia ile taarifa habari sikumaliza nibidi ni ende channel nyingine yaudi ndugu zetu wanalia kwa tv wanauliza kwa ni sisi si wa kenya mauaji ya kinyama ikiwa sisi tunachaguliwa ili tupiganie haki ya watu wetu Waziri wa Mawasiliano na Teknolojia Jo Musheru amesema kwamba kufikia wiki ijayo wanafunzi milioni milioni moja kutoka shule za umma mbalimbali watakuwa wanapokea tarakilishi katika kaunti zote 47 akizungumza katika shule ya msingi ya Machaki Nyama Chaki kumradhi mjini Nyeri Musheru amesema walimu 95000 kote nchini vile vile wamepata mafunzo kuhusu utumizi ya tarakilishi shule 383 ndani ya kaunti ya Nyeri zimeshapokea vifaa hivyo silabasi ama e, mtaala wa mafunzo ya tarakilishi kwa sasa inajumuisha darasa la kwanza, pili na la tatu. We are launching the Kenya Medical uh, Students to stop working with immediate effect because we cannot have patients being served by students who are not qualified. We have realized that their student, the KMTC, has released their students to work in the PGH. It is not the qualified nurses who are working in the PGH. It is the... Na mkumradhi mtazamaji kidogo kwa mchanganyiko wa picha hapo lakini taarifa ambayo iliona kwanza zile picha ndio zilikuwa kwa kuhusiana na wauguzi kutoka kaunti ya Nyeri ambao sasa wanataka wanagenzi katika chuo cha mafunzo cha KMTC kuondolewa kutoka katika hospitali za umma wakizungumza mjini Nyeri wauguzi hao kupitia chama chao wamesema kuwa wanafunzi hao wangali wanasoma na kwa hivyo bado hawajahitimu kutibu wagonjwa katika shule za ama katika hospitali za umma wakiongozwa na kaimu katibu mkuu mwenyekiti wauguzi hao wamesema kuwa wanafunzi wa KMTC wamechangia pakubwa kuwepo kwa makosa kufanyika hospitalini na sasa wanataka washikadau kuchukua hatua za dharura We are launching the Kenya Medical uh, Students to stop working with immediate effect because we cannot have patients being served by students who are not qualified. Yes. We have realized that their student, the KMTC, has released their students to work in the PGH. It is not the qualified nurses who are working in the PGH. It is the students who are working there. And we are telling the principal that you are risking the lives of those patients who are coming there be, who are being attended by, the stu by students who are not qualified. We have 
children who are born of HIV mothers. These children are converting to HIV positive because nurses are not on duty. Because nurses are the custodians of prevention of mother to child transmission of HIV. Yes. We have children who are now missing the immunization and there is a risk that we might have a, a eruption of communicable diseases in our country like polio and measles. The students who have been intimidated by the management of the hospital and the MTC principals to work there. And we are telling the principals that we are going to take action on them. We are going to even to re deregister them. We are going also to make sure the nurses who are work the student nurses who are working there must face some action because they are not allowed to step into a, a ward when the senior nurses, the qualified nurses, are not there to mentor them. We want to tell the community that they are risking their lives when they go there and be attended by unqualified nurses. Na polisi wa Akiba katika maeneo yaliyo na utovu wa usalama sasa wamepangiwa kupokea posho maalum ili kuwezesha kutekeleza majukumu yao ipasavyo tupate taarifa hiyo. Serikali inapanga kuajiri maafisa elfu moja katika usajili wa polisi wa Akiba unaoendelea kwa sasa katika maeneo mbalimbali mbali kote nchini. Usajili huo ni kwa mujibu wa mapendekezo ya kamati usalama katika kaunti husika. Kucha kufanya recruitment ya wale KPR, wale wale kweko, alavu tuna afsop, waende kwa National Police Reservist. E, Seri yao ilipita juze juze, ndio nikawa appointed na Inspector General, nisimami ya awa. Na kazi ya kwanza ni kufanya recruitment all over Kenya. Ipo mipango kabambe ya kuwapa marupurupu kuwawezesha kujikimu wana puendelea na jukumu na kudumisha usalama nchini. Uh, wanalibwa uh, ile kitu tunaitwa stipend allowance wakati msiarao inaangaliwa. Polisi wa Akiba wamekuwepo katika maeneo mbalimbali hasa leo na visa vya wizi wa mifugo, uvamizi wa mara kwa mara na makundi haramu. Hivyo mzigo waliotwiko wa kuongeza nguvu vyombo vya usalama katika maeneo hayo unaonekana wazi. Ndipo taarifa hiyo imekuja kwa wakati unaofaa. Hai mwaka 24 kama niko punduki ya serikali. Kwa wale wanaotaka kusajiliwa wanahitajika kuzingatia matako yaliyowekwa yanayokaribiana na yale ya usajili wa makurutu wa polisi huku wengi wao wakiwa wanasajiliwa katika maeneo yaliyo na ukosefu wa usalama. Mpaka we unaishi karibu na area hiyo. Kama iko usalama, kama usalama ya bande hiyo sio nzuri, uwe unaishi kwanza huko, uwe ni mkaaji. Chambo la pili, uwe ni mtu uchafanya kosa lelote kiseria hapa Kenya. Chambo la tatu, ni wewe uchafikisha, au ama umepitisha miaka hamsina tano. Wili Lusige, KTN News. Na mtazamaji unaendelea kutazama taarifa za mbiu ya KTN la siri hii kama nilivyokuelezea hapo awali huwa pia tuna mahojiano na mgeni wetu tayari amewasili katika studio tutakuwa na mahojiano yetu tayari pasta yuko hapa kuhusiana na siku ya kesho kumbuka kesho ni siku ya saba saba hivyo basi kumeandaliwa shughuli muhimu hapa jijini Nairobi na ni mmoja ambao walioandalia ama walioandaa shughuli kama hiyo na vile vile tajaribu kutafuta wenzangu walioko mashinani ili kupata kujua kampeni zinaendelea vipi kando na taarifa zaidi endelea kuwa nasi nitarudi kwenye muda usiku mrefu